You're obviously experienced a football escape holiday with your family and now you'll, you'll be leading your own course here as well. Um, how did you like the resort here? Yeah, so far it's been been unbelievable, I have to say. The, the resort is, is incredible and um, I have to say the staff have been ab absolutely amazing. As I said, I've come on a holiday with the family and lucky enough to, to join in today with you guys at, uh, for football escapes. and. Uh, the kids seem to have a great time, so I'm looking forward to coming back on the 23rd and uh, doing some coaching with the other kids. Perfect. Um, and then looking around across Andalusia, how would you say it's suited for the family? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I think when you've got two young kids that, that want to play around and want to run around most of the time, I've uh, got a lad who's 12, Robert Hudson who's 5, so met loads of friends and uh, it's definitely a holiday for the kids, but also, you know, it's good for the adults in the evening as well, you can have a bit of time yourself and uh, all the kids are making, uh, being very, very friendly. And the hotel has been, as I said, top class. So, uh, for a family holiday, you know, couldn't recommend them more. And then, obviously, uh, you're now a coach here. So, what would you, what advice would you recommend to the young players? Young kids, especially the younger, younger kids, just to enjoy it, smile, listen to the coaches, and uh, and, and have fun. Uh, to the older kids, listen. Either people want to be want to be football players, or do you want to come and enjoy themselves? I think we can do both because it's it's certainly with football escapes, it's uh, you know the coaching is you know was top top class, and uh, but uh, you know for, it's it's certainly for everybody. Perfect. And then uh, last question, obviously football escapes holiday here is an amazing concept. How how do you see it in terms of bringing the whole family together in terms of? the whole experience in terms of not just the football? Yeah, I mean, as I said, listen, it's great that obviously the football is here as well. And, um, but just as, as a resort, there's, there's so much to do that. Um, as I said, we came we're here, we're here for two weeks with, with, with the family and uh, you know, the kids already don't want to go home. So it's uh, once they're happy, it's the most important thing. But as I said, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything more. The, 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 the staff have been absolutely uh, amazing. And as I said, I'm looking forward to coming back again. Perfect. And obviously you played as a striker. Any uh, free top tips you'd give to a child looking to become a striker themselves? Side foot finish. Most of the time, most of the goals are scored by side foot. Uh, the old ones are like 25 yards, people like Paul Scholes could do, but certainly strikers inside the box. Uh, side foot finish, uh, concentration and listen to your coach. And the best goal you've ever scored, what would you, what would you say? Uh, my favourite goal is probably against Blackburn. Uh, when I chipped it over Savage's head and then did a, I think I did, I can't remember the defender was, I pretended to shoot a left foot volley uh, from a throw in. So that's probably one of my favourites. Also, my second one was probably against Arsenal, when I played for Liverpool, the half, of, half, uh, half volley from just inside the box. Uh, and it's always nice scoring against Arsenal. <laughs>